Hello guys, good morning, good evening. Hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we will talk about the EWM business scenario in the inbound receiving, where the inbound delivery gets distributed in the EWM, but uh, the system is throwing the error at the time of warehouse task creation. And then we will see what all could be the possible reasons for that error and what should be our approach to resolve the same. Okay, so this is the S4HANA 2022 system. And uh, as per our regular process, we have the purchase order created. And with reference to the purchase order, we will create the ERP inbound delivery of 100 units. Now, as you all know, the moment we save the inbound delivery in ERP, it will go and create another inbound delivery, which is in the EWM and that will be having the EWM specific parameters. We will open this in the EWM inbound delivery transaction PRDI, and we can see the inbound delivery is available here. Now with reference to this inbound delivery, that is also called as a warehouse request, we will go into the follow on function and create a warehouse task. The warehouse task can be automatically created or it could be manually created, but Sometimes, or in most of the project cases, we can see we have, when we try to create the warehouse task, we get this error message. And it is not allowing us to create the warehouse task. And here we can see the storage type search with a wildcard. So this is a generic error, and there could be more than 10 different reasons for this issue. Now, in case you need to investigate the root cause of this error and how to fix it. The first step should be to check the task log. In the message task, you will see the error and the different possibilities here. And after you check this, the first step here, it will be to verify the storage type search sequence. Which storage type search sequence is being called? So here, when you go into the EWM, in the cross process, uh, okay, in the good receipt process, under the strategies, here we have the storage type search. And in the storage type search, we can see specify storage type search sequence. So here you have the storage type search sequence, which is being called at the first time. And if you look into the error again, you can see storage type search with wildcard, no entry found. That means the system is not able to determine the storage type. And that is the reason we are checking this configuration where for the warehouse US 33, as you can see here, the warehouse is US 33. We can see we have two entries. The first entry is for the warehouse process type 1010 and the put away control indicator PACI. The second entry is for the different WPT with the same put away control indicator. So here, if you see the WPT, it is 1010. Now for 1010 WPT, you have this entry. So with this, we are reducing our search criteria for the storage type. And here we can see we have only one entry which could be the relevant case. Second case will be to find out the put away control indicator, which is maintained in our material master. So for this material 871, we have it in the EWM, which is called as a product master. So when you go into the product master, which is mat one, here we can see 871 and you go into the display mode. So the put away control indicator, which is blank here. And in our configuration, what we have, we have put away control indicator that is PACI, P -A -C -I, that is just a four characters. So system is expecting this to be maintained in the product master. And here it is blank. 
So this is a master data issue. Now in this case, we will go into the change mode. We will go into the change mode and here we will look for the available options and here we have put away control indicator passy available. So we can maintain this, we can save this and then we can go and try to create the warehouse task again. Okay, now if you try to click create plus save or the create is just a simulation. So if you click on create, you will see this is green. That means this task will be created after you click on create plus save. Okay, guys, so we can see that that was a very minor issue of product master not properly maintained and that's why the warehouse task is not getting created. So once you maintain the product master, this is working. The other reason, it could be that the bin is full or the activity area is not maintained in the bin. That could be the other area. Now, in case you have already maintained the put away control indicator in the product master, still system is not creating the warehouse task. The other approach will be to check the destination bin. Now, when you go here in the bin, in the bin master, which is LS03, you can see here, it has the capacity available. We have not maintained the capacity limit, maximum weight or volume here. The second thing, what you need to check in the bin is the activity area. So the bin should be tagged to the activity area. If the bin is not tagged to the activity area, then system will not determine that bin. Okay, and all this will be reflecting in the message log. So the first step is to check the message log. Based on that, either you will check the bin capacity, if the bins are full in the storage type, or you can check the product master where the put away control indicator is maintained or not maintained. If it is maintained, then it should be as per the configuration, what you have done here. I hope you have enjoyed this video and this will help you to solve the project issue. If you come across the issue of storage type sequence not found at the time of warehouse task creation. Thank you.